What does this sign mean? 1. Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. 2. Minimum speed limit with traffic calming. 3. 20 cars only parking zone. 4. Only 20 cars allowed at any one time. Which of these signs shows that you're entering a one-way system? 1 2 3 4 You're parked at the side of the road. You'll be waiting some time for a passenger. What should you do? 1. Switch off the engine. 2. Apply the steering lock. 3. Switch off the radio. 4. Use your headlights. Which of these is a hazard warning line? 1, 2, 3, 4. On a three lane motorway, which lane should you normally use? One. Left, two, right, three, center, four, either the right or center. You have to leave valuables in your car. What would it be safest to do? 1. Put them in a carrier bag. 2. Park near a school entrance. 3. Lock them out of sight. 4. Park near a bus stop. You've just been overtaken by this motorcyclist, who has cut in sharply. What should you do? 1. Sound the horn. 2. Break firmly. 3. Keep a safe gap. 4. Flash your lights. Can you park on the zigzag lines of a zebra crossing when there are no other parking spaces to be found? 1. No, not unless you stay with your car. 2. Yes, in order to drop off a passenger. 3. Yes, if you don't block people from crossing. 4. No, not under any circumstances. At an incident, a casualty isn't breathing. What should you do while helping them to start breathing again? 1. Put their arms across their chest. 2. Shake them firmly. 3. Roll them onto their side. 4. Tilt their head back gently.
You've just passed your test. How can you reduce your risk of being involved in a collision? 1. By always staying close to the vehicle in front. 2. By never going over 40 miles per hour. 3. By staying in the left-hand lane on all roads. 4. By taking further training. A casualty has an injured arm. They can move it freely but it's bleeding. Why should you get them to keep it in a raised position? 1. It will ease the pain. 2. It will help them to be seen more easily. 3. To stop them touching other people. 4. It will help to reduce the blood flow. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights. What should you do just before turning? 1. Check your right mirror. 2. Move up close to the white car. 3. Straddle the lanes. 4. Check for bicycles on your left. Which warning light is for low oil? 1, 2, 3, 4. A police car is following you. The police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left. What should you do? 1. Turn left at the next junction. 2. Pull up on the left. 3. Stop immediately. 4. Move over to the left. You're using a control flow system. What should you do? 1. Choose an appropriate lane in good time. 2. Switch lanes at any time to make progress. 3. Increase speed to pass through quickly. 4. Follow other motorists closely to avoid long queues. You think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator. What should you do? 1. Flash your lights to alert the driver. 2. Sound your horn before overtaking. 3. Overtake on the left if there's room. 4. Stay behind and don't overtake. You're following other vehicles in fog. You have your lights on. What else can you do to reduce the chances of being in a collision? 1. Keep close to the vehicle in front. 2. Use your main beam instead of dipped headlights. 3. Keep up with the faster vehicles. 4. Reduce your speed and increase the gap in front.
Which of the following types of glasses shouldn't be worn when driving at night? 1. Half moon. 2. Round. 3. Bifocal 4. Tinted. Tell me how you would check the tires to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. Choose all that apply. 1. Check there are no cuts and bulges. 2. Check you have at least 1.3 mm tread depth across 3 quarters of the tire around the entire circumference. 3. Check you have at least 1.6 mm tread depth across 3 quarters of the tire around the entire circumference. You're turning left on a slippery road. What should you do if the back of your vehicle slots to the right? 1. Brake firmly and don't turn the steering wheel. 2. Steer carefully to the left. 3. Steer carefully to the right. 4. Brake firmly and steer to the left. You're in the left-hand lane at traffic lights, waiting to turn left. At which of these traffic lights mustn't you move on? 1. 2. 3. 4. Which vehicles should use the left-hand lane on a three-lane motorway? 1. Any vehicle. 2. Large vehicles only. 3. Emergency vehicles only. 4. Slow vehicles only. You've broken down on a motorway. When you use the emergency telephone, what will you be asked for? 1. Details about your vehicle. 2. Your driving license details. 3. The name of your vehicle's insurance company. 4. Your employer's details. You're following a large vehicle approaching a crossroads. The driver signals to turn left. What should you do? 1. Overtake if you can leave plenty of room. 2. Overtake only if there are no oncoming vehicles. 3. Don't overtake until the vehicle begins to turn. 4. Don't overtake as you approach or at the junction. Traffic signs giving orders are generally which shape? 1, 2, 3, 4. Which type of sign tells you not to do something? One. Two, three, four.
your vehicle has broken down on an automatic railway level crossing. What should you do first? 1. Get everyone out of the vehicle and clear of the crossing. 2. Telephone your vehicle recovery service to move it. 3. Walk along the track to give warning to any approaching trains. 4. Try to push the vehicle clear of the crossing as soon as possible. You're on a motorway and there are red flashing lights above every lane. What must you do? 1. Pull onto the hard shoulder. 2. Slow down and watch for further signals. 3. Leave at the next exit. 4. Stop and wait. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? 1. Fire engine. 2. Road gritter. 3. Ambulance. 4. Doctor's car. At a railway level crossing, the red lights continue to flash after a train has gone by. What should you do? 1. Phone the signal operator. 2. Alert drivers behind you. 3. Wait. 4. Proceed with caution. What should you do when you're following a motorcyclist along a road that has a poor surface? 1. Drive closely so they can see you in their mirrors. 2. Overtake immediately to avoid delays. 3. Allow extra room in case they swerve to avoid potholes. 4. Allow the same room as normal to avoid wasting road space. Show me, or explain how you would check that the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. Choose all that apply. 1. Turn the wheel just after moving off to check steering is light. 2. Start the engine and apply gentle pressure to the steering wheel to see if the power steering engages. 3. Open the bonnet and check the fluid. 4. Check the horn works to see if there's power to the steering wheel. What makes the vehicle in the picture environmentally friendly? 1. It's powered by gravity. 2. It's powered by diesel. 3. It's powered by electricity. 4. It's powered by unleaded petrol. A collision has just happened. An injured person is lying in a busy road. What's the first thing you should do to help? 1. Treat the person for shock. 2. Warn other traffic. 3. Place them in the recovery position. 4. Make sure the injured person is kept warm.
What can driving smoothly achieve? 1. Reduction in journey times by about 15%. 2. Increase in fuel consumption by about 15%. 3. Reduction in fuel consumption by about 15%. 4. Increase in journey times by about 15%. When may you drive over a footpath? 1. To overtake slow moving traffic. 2. When the pavement is very wide. 3. If there are no pedestrians nearby. 4. To get onto a property. Which of these will help you to keep your car secure? 1. Vehicle Breakdown Organization 2. Vehicle Watch Scheme 3. Advanced Driver's Scheme 4. Car Maintenance Class Show me how you wash and clean the rear windscreen. Choose all that apply. 1. Turn ignition on, if necessary. 2. Put the vehicle in reverse. 3. Operate the windscreen washer stock, for example by pulling backwards. You notice horse riders in front. What should you do first? 1. Pull out to the middle of the road. 2. Slow down and be ready to stop. 3. Accelerate around them. 4. Signal right. You're following a long vehicle approaching a crossroads. The driver signals right but moves close to the left-hand curb. What should you do? 1. Warn the driver about the wrong signal. 2. Wait behind the long vehicle. 3. Report the driver to the police. 4. Overtake on the right-hand side. You're dazzled at night by a vehicle behind you. What should you do? 1. Set your mirror to the anti-dazzle position. 2. Set your mirror to dazzle the other driver. 3. Brake sharply to a stop. 4. Switch your rear lights on and off. How should you overtake horse riders? 1. Drive up close and overtake as soon as possible. 2. Speed isn't important but allow plenty of room. 3. Use your horn just once to warn them. 4. Drive slowly and leave plenty of room. What does this sign mean? 1. Give way to oncoming vehicles. 2. 
Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. 3. Turn off at the next available junction. 4. Pass either side to get to the same destination. You're on the motorway. Luggage falls from your vehicle. What should you do? 1. Stop at the next emergency telephone and contact the police. 2. Stop on the motorway and switch on hazard warning lights while you pick it up. 3. Walk back up the motorway to pick it up. 4. Pull up on the hard shoulder and wave traffic down. Your mobile phone rings while you're traveling. What should you do? 1. Stop immediately. 2. Answer it immediately. 3. Ignore it. 4. Pull up at the nearest curb. You're driving along a country road. You see this sign. What should you do after dealing safely with the hazard? 1. Check your tire pressures. 2. Switch on your hazard warning lights. 3. Accelerate briskly. 4. Test your brakes. You're on a motorway. There's a control flow system ahead. What would you expect to find? 1. Temporary traffic lights. 2. Lower speed limits. 3. Wider lanes than normal. 4. Speed humps. What should you do when you meet an oncoming vehicle on a single track road? 1. Reverse back to the main road. 2. Carry out an emergency stop. 3. Stop at a passing place. 4. Switch on your hazard warning lights. When should you use hazard warning lights? 1. When you're double parked on a two-way road. 2. When your direction indicators aren't working. 3. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. 4. When your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. You're driving behind a large goods vehicle. What should you do if it signals left but steers to the right? 1. Slow down and let the vehicle turn. 2. Drive on, keeping to the left. 3. Overtake on the right of it. 4. Hold your speed and sound your horn.
thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, with fm drivers go to our channel to find more videos on how to pass your theory test as well as go to our site fmdriverschool.co.uk for loads of tips on how to pass your theory test and your practical driving test